Immediately after spotting U.S. troops in French parade, Trump did something stunning. Immediately after spotting U.S. troops in French parade, Trump did something stunning. Sponsored. President Donald Trump's patriotism is unquestionable. It is truly on display when Trump is surrounded by foreign leaders who consider such things as nationalism and patriotism as vile. While standing next to French President Emmanuel Macron, Donald Trump stood and saluted American forces as they passed by during the Bastille Day Parade. For his part, Macron just clapped when French forces walked by him, via YouTube. This is not the first time that President Trump has shown his appreciation for our men in uniform. With a camera rolling from behind, President Trump placed a Marine's cover back on his head during a particularly windy day in Washington, via YouTube. This is a far cry from the days when President Obama saluted Marines with a Starbucks cup or used them as a his umbrella carriers. As from President Trump's counterpart during Bastille Day, President Macron comes from a long line of French leaders who have more contempt than love for their armed forces. One journalist's research into the French Foreign Legion found that the elite of the French armed forces are mostly reactionary Roman Catholics who are disgusted by the extreme secularism of the French state. Ironically, such secularism was only possible thanks to the radical French Revolution inaugurated by the storming of the Bastille. More importantly, many of these French soldiers had a disdain for the French leaders that they serve via Vanity Fair. Such disconnect in France is potentially combustible. In 2016, thanks to the increasing problem of Islamic terrorism, the French army announced that it would recreate the National Guard in order to help patrol the streets, via DW. Students of history should know that the National Guard was the leading armed force that supported not only the French Revolution, but also the proto-communist Paris Commune of 1871. Again, French history also tells us that French soldiers are not above staging coups in order to change the political consensus. In 1961, French soldiers stationed in French Algeria staged a coup in order to stop the government in Paris from handing Algiers over to the FLN, via country studies. Ultimately, some of the figures involved in the aborted coup would form the OAS, a secretive terrorist organization. Even older history, such as the case of the Roman veterans of Cannae, proves that disrespecting military veterans is a good way to ignite a coup or a revolution. President Trump is an ardent patriot. President Macron is a globalist who does not know history.